My name is Mike Sola, and I am Senior DI Colorist at Technicolor. This particular advancement, High Dynamic Range, is for the consumer. It's, we're making an image now that is so much more pleasing to look at than people will ever imagine. Um, putting the two images, Standard Dynamic Range versus High Dynamic Range, putting two, the two images side by side is, it, it's, it's strange to believe that we ever accepted standard dynamic range because the high dynamic range is a crisp, bright, it's, it's the image that we always thought we were looking at, but when you see them side by side, you just want to take the film off of the standard dynamic range and expose what, you've, what you think you've been seeing. It's, it's tremendous for color and light and clarity. It's a whole new experience. So the master is going to be, in my mind, in years to come, the master is going to be the high dynamic range master. And then everything else will be derived from that. So right now, you know, we're making five or six different versions of every movie to fit content with in these different displays. So eventually we'll start with the high dynamic range master. So, it, you know, and then we'll trickle down all the way back down to standard definition. So high dynamic range, is another level of clarity, which means as the viewer, you know, the, the viewer can see more of the image. The image is crisper, cleaner, clearer. So I think there is going to be a, a, another revolution within the, you know, hair and makeup, <laughs> because people are going to see themselves in this new world of brighter, clearer, uh, and they may not be too pleased. So the same thing happened when we switched from standard definition to high definition images. Now suddenly people were seeing things that we've never seen before. Well, the same sort of thing is going to occur with high dynamic range. We're still making images look like what the filmmakers intended them to look like. They're only being displayed now at this different intensity, which gives them a clarity that we're used to seeing with the naked eye, which is better. But what that means is on set, things will have to be addressed that probably haven't been or haven't had a need to be addressed because of that clarity. When, it, when these images are seen side by side, people will really understand. When you see a single stimulus, when you just look at high dynamic range first by itself, it's pretty. But until you see that against what you're used to seeing, you will not believe the quality of it and how good it is. And that's where the high dynamic range is going to sell itself.